welcome everyone and thank you for joining this webinar with Comport. We are an HPE Aruba Platinum partner. Um, and today we're going to be showing you a little bit about Aruba Central. So brief overview of what Aruba Central is before we get started. Aruba Central is the cloud-based management platform for everything in the Aruba portfolio. Everything in the Aruba portfolio is being migrated into this platform from switches to APs to sensors to network access control and beyond. So in moving forward in the future, if you're seriously looking at Aruba networks for your office, for your home network, for even your remote uh, work from home solutions, please consider Aruba Central because it is definitely going to be the mainstay of the uh, HPE Aruba world moving forward. And while we dive into this, Aruba Central today manages all Aruba APs and switches. Uh, it has the full capability to do all configurations for those appliances. There are several different ways in which you can manage and monitor any, any part of your network from singular wireless uh, areas or wireless deployments across your enterprise. You can even manage it at the building level. So you can individually look at sites and buildings and floors on each building to see what your live RF coverage looks like for users. So if you have a gap somewhere, it's very easy to see very quickly where that information is all built in this platform and fully integrated without worrying about the addition of uh, complicated licensing structures or support contracts because it's all built into it. It's on the cloud. It's easy and very, very simple to set up and get, get ready for your environment. As for your wire network, it has the full ability to do web-based configurations and template-based. So for anyone that's more comfortable writing templates, and then pushing out a golden template as a default configuration and then making small tweaks on the individual switch level, you can do that. It makes for a great way to automate your networking environment and very quickly deploy a wired network from what used to take hours down to just a couple of minutes. Um, and for the web-based configuration, if you need something very simple, very straightforward, very basic configurations, it is extremely simple to set up a switch, put a few VLANs on it, and get it connected to the network with almost no interruption in service. So there are a lot of different ways that you can use this tool, and I'm, go up, um, I'm going to show you how to do that. As soon as you log into Aruba Central, you're going to see this page right here. You'll actually see on a world map or a map of whatever country you're using for your locations exactly where your devices are being deployed. Now, this doesn't automatically do this for you. You plug in your physical address for a site or a building, an office, um, and, and it'll populate this on a map. So this is one of our offices in northern New Jersey. And just from a very quick overview, I can see that everything in, the, in that office looks pretty good. We have a few APs. We have a few switches. We have everything good. If there were any issues, we would see it either uh, as, as a down client or as a up client. And all of these are hyperlinks, so you can click through these very quickly. You can see the number of devices connected to your network. You can even see the floor plans if you choose to upload those. Um, one of the great things about Aruba Central is it has artificial intelligence and machine learning built in for no additional cost. So if you want to look and see what the artificial intelligence engine is telling you might be a warning or a problem, very, very quickly troubleshoot that all from this one screen as soon as you log in. Another great thing about Aruba Central is they've integrated their user experience insights. So if you, uh, you're the, those are the Aruba user experience insight sensors, that is. And if you have those, you have those deployed, you have those running tests, should anything go wrong, you can click here and immediately be re redirected to their cloud-based page where it'll tell you exactly what tests are going wrong, why, and even if you want, it'll take automatic packet captures and let you do a deep dive an analysis without having to send anyone on site. Each configuration can be done at a group level um, and a site level. So for APs, you can configure them at a group level and they'll inherit the same configuration. This could span multiple buildings, it could span your entire enterprise, or you can break this down however you need to if different sites need slightly different configurations. Um, same thing for the switches and also for SD-WAN. So there is built-in functionality for SD-WAN with this as well through using the Aruba um, mobility gateways and allowing yourself to set up a full integrated solution that covers all of your remote offices and all of your corporate offices from one easy management tool. 
if you want to break down each individual building by site, this is a great way to quickly analyze what's going on at the site level itself. This is also where you can upload those floor plans and you can see the live heat map coverage of your facilities on a floor by floor basis and potentially even be able to locate lost clients in the network. If somebody loses an iPhone, a corporate device, an iPad, anywhere in the building and it's still in the network, you may actually be able to see it on there and help identify lost objects as well. And the final thing we'll touch on in this first part of our series is firmware. Firmware updates have always been kind of the bane of the networking world existence because A, it creates downtime, and B, you have to statically go in and you have to put in a TFTP server and migrate the image over or go to each switch and download or upload the image accordingly, and you have to reboot. One of the great things about Aruba Central is that's all built in. You don't have to go and hunt for images anymore. It's all built in. All you have to do is say, we have these APs or we have these switches, and they will give you a recommended firmware version. That's a stable upgrade. And they'll give you the current firmware version. If you want to upgrade, you just click on upgrade. And you can do now or at a later date. So you've turned that process where you're creating downtime in the middle of the day, having to send people on site, spin up a new SFTP server, TFTP server, and it's all there. You don't have to worry about it. You can schedule these firmware updates for the middle of the night when nobody's in the office, nobody's accessing this network actively, and minimize the impact on your environment. And also be able to consolidate your IT team to the projects and spaces they really need to be at physically. And with that, that covers the high-level introduction to Aruba Central. Please join us for our next session, and thank you for watching.